Turning now to this week's Ag Minute, Lauren Tom is not in studio. Instead, Lauren, you're in your hometown of New Orleans at a restaurant that's using the power of food to make a difference. That's right, Mike. I'm here at Cafe Reconcile in New Orleans, where they're working hard to change the landscape of the community and the people at the same time. From the outside, it looks like a typical restaurant. Even on the inside, it's food service business as usual. Except Cafe Reconcile is anything but a typical restaurant. You see the workers here? They're brought in from low-income households before they get too deep into the street life, and some have been there already. But it wasn't easy to come into an area like this and start this program. In fact, just take a look around at all the buildings here. Most of them are unoccupied and have been burned down by drug dealers and prostitutes who wanted to prevent businesses from coming into this area. Cafe Reconcile's founder, Craig Cuccia, had to come up with a different approach to try to get in to do some good in this wasteland of a community. Asked them, you know, what would they like to see? Uh, positive in their neighborhood and they agreed you know you'd be surprised that even though people were in a tough realm of life they wanted to see good for their children. Cafe Reconcile is doing something that farmers and producers do every day sustaining lives through the power of food except the mission here goes way beyond the walls of the kitchen. We mostly are trying to bring people from one place in life and give them an opportunity to make it in another place. And Cafe Reconcile is doing just that, with nine-week training sessions in cooking and restaurant management that result in heaping portions of soul food and flourishing. The Emerald Lagasse Foundation is funding a culinary training center on the second floor that will double our capacity here. It just continues to bear fruit. And each day, the fruits and fried chicken of Cafe Reconcile's labor continues to improve the lives of this area one plate at a time. We want to be that encouragement. We want to stay connected to them and try to help move them along in a positive way so that they can be self-sustaining, like one of our goals here at, the, at Cafe Reconcile and Reconcile New Orleans. In New Orleans, I'm Lauren Tom for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. Cuccia says almost 70% of Cafe Reconcile's graduates move on to retain jobs in the New Orleans food service industry. To learn more about Cafe Reconcile, you can log on to twilighttv.org and click on Ag Minute Extra.